Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to dig a little bit deeper into coding our Arduinos. For the most part, we've just kind of been copying and pasting code, um, trying it out, seeing if it works, and you know, if you copy the code and you wire it correctly, it seems to work. And so today we're going to go into a little bit more how code works and how we might be able to take, you know, kind of two different parts of code and put them together into one program. So you know, we have some code for a button and some code for a LED. Can we combine those into one code so that when we press a button, an LED turns on? So this, uh, this is going to go over some kind of advanced concepts um, in coding, but I, th I think you're ready. I think you all can follow along here. And so I'm going to present my screen. So you can see what I'm looking at. I can kind of show you the process for how to do this. All right, a couple things. Um, I have some of the original code. So I have the, um, the LED uh, blink code as well as this, um, oh, what is it called, music machine? Yeah, music machine code. So here's the music machine. I just copied and pasted this from somewhere else. I didn't write any of this code. Um, and so what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to copy it. I'm just going to put it into our GitHub. And we're going to kind of work through GitHub just to get a little bit more practice on, on how GitHub works. So if you remember, we have our main uh, kind of organizational space here. Then we have repositories. And so inside of the intro repository, this is where we store our code. And so if I've got some code that I'm going to use for a project, I'm going to want to store it. Um, with the other code so that I can easily share it with other people. Um, and to do that, it's pretty easy. Um, we are just going to go to add file and create a new file. And here we go. Let's uh, call this music machine. This is a .ino. Um, it is uh, written for Arduino. And if you take a look on your um, on your online editor, you can see that this is also saved as a .ino. So this is just Arduino code. And so we want to let everyone know that this is Arduino code. We've pasted it in here. And I'm going to commit this new file. And so this has added a new file into this repository. So now we've got more than one type of code. We've got our LED blink code. We've got our music machine code. We've also got our readme which tells you about the repository. And so I want to create some new code from this. And so really to do the experimenting, I'm going to stay in my online art IDE. So this is my online web editor for Arduino. And I'm going to create a new sketch. Um, just because when I'm doing experimenting, when I'm actually working, I want to do that. I want to connect to my Arduino. I want to be able to test it out. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I might as well just paste in my um, my music machine code. So here's my music machine code. Um, there's a couple things that you really need to know about Arduino if you're going to start combining code together. And that's that there's three different sections. There's a section at the beginning which just kind of sets everything up. It defines um, any libraries that might be included, any other variables that the program is going to need to know. Then we have the second section, which is the void, which is the setup section. So this is really just run it whenever your Arduino is powered on or reset. It runs this first. And so this is just really kind of an initiation step. And then we have our main code. And so this is the loop section. And so this code is going to get run over and over again. And so every Arduino code is going to have these three sections. And when you're combining codes together, you generally want to know like what section came from what. And so let me rename this. Let's call this um, button LED combo. This is my button LED combo. Sometimes uh, it's actually easier to uh, pull this out and kind of have 
the two codes that I'm combining, I might want to put them side by side. That's what I like to do lots of times, just so I can kind of keep track of what's going on. So this is our combo code. And it's going to have, it, right now it just has the music machine stuff in it. And so the other thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to open up my LED blink code. And I'm going to pull this off. I'm just going to kind of set these side by side so I can see what's going on. All right. So we've got our LED blink code. It has the same sections. It has this initial section, which actually is blank. It just has some instructions in it. It has this setup section um, where it just kind of, this is what's going to run at the beginning. And then it has this final section. This is what gets looped over and over again. And so I definitely know that I'm going to want to copy this setup section. So I'm just going to say control copy. I'm going to put it into the setup section of my button LED combo. So I'm, now I'm combining code. But I want to make sure that the code gets copied from the right section to the other section. And so I've got this void loop section. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy it. You can see that these are inside of brackets. I'm not copying these brackets, but I'm leaving them. So this is going to be the same thing. There's going to be a bracket at the beginning, and there's going to be a bracket down here at the end. And so I'm going to want to keep everything inside of those brackets. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, look at where do I want to paste this in. So this is going to be basically writing my, um, writing my LED to turn on or off. And so this is saying if button state one, um, I kind of need to understand what this code is meaning. And so the thing about buttons is that they have an on or an off switch. And really, there's going to be an if statement. So if the button is on, do this. And you can see that all gets put um, inside of brackets. Otherwise, it's going to do nothing. So if the button is 1, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to, this, is, was, this was to play all the music. So when the button got pressed, it would play all of this music. And so I'm just going to delete this code that is for playing the music. And so let's just delete this. And so now if button code is 1, I'm going to turn this um, turn this light on for one second, and then I'm going to turn the light off. And then this, I think, should then loop through. It's going to then check and see if the button is on. If it is, it's going to turn the button on for a second and then off for a second. It's going to loop through. And so what this is going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to press a button, Hopefully the light will come on for a second, then it will turn off, and then it will check again. If the button's still held down, it will turn on again or not. And so I've got something that I think is going to work. I've got my input set up. Um, I think we're looking good. I need to know that my button input is on 12. I need to know that my digital right, right now it's set to 8. So I'll make sure that my LED is plugged into 8. I need to grab a button. Let me show you my wiring here. Oh, that's not it. Let's go to this. Let's pull this up. Let's see if you can see my wiring here. All right. So you can see I've got my LED already set up. It's plugged into pin 8. I'm also going to need a button. And I know that the top right of this button is going to go into pin 12. Pin 12, because that's going to be my input. 
Now I'm going to take off five volts. And if I have enough cables, no, no, no. Uh, let's just pull some cables out of here. Five volt power is going to go into one side. Then I'm going to have a 10K resistor, which is maybe this. Is this a 10K? I've got a bunch of stuff running around. 10K resistor is going to go into the bottom right. And I probably should unplug my Arduino ball while I'm messing with the wires. That is best practice so that I don't short something out. And then this, I can get this plugged in there. There's one side, there's the other. And let's plug this into ground. There we go. And GMB. All right, so I've got my button wired up just like I've used it before. Let's power this on. I don't know if you can see that. My button's wired up just like I did with my music machine. So check the music machine um, wiring diagram if you're curious for how to wire up that button. My LED is wired up just like an LED always is. It's put into pin eight because I switched that over um, to pin eight last time. And let's present. Well, let's actually let's actually just load the code. It's gonna take this combined code, and I'm gonna load it. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I think this is gonna work. This is gonna be interesting. All right, board. Why is this? Okay. All right, and I'm getting an error. Let's let's uh, let me go back and let me show you. This is this happens especially when you're not uh, when you're new to programming. Is you're pretty much always going to end up getting errors um, whenever you try to combine code, and it's really a, this is the learning process. Uh, let's present screen. Blah. blah. Go. Hey, and I know what it is. Um, so these brackets are kind of what keep everything together. So you can see we have an open bracket and a closed bracket. So that means there's everything in this loop. We've got an if statement, and we've got another bracket here. So here's an open bracket. There is no closed bracket. So I want to make sure I just put a closed bracket onto there. Curly bracket, I think is what they call that. Now that I've got a closed bracket, let's see if this uploads. It uploads. All right, now let's test it and see if it works. And we have another, we have something else going wrong. Okay, our pin mode is set to the wrong thing. So we have this set to button. Pin is input. Pin mode is output. Button pin. All right. So read input pin, input button, digital right, if button states one. And let me just show you. Let me show you what's going on here. Let me show you. Boom, boom, boom. Stop presenting. Got something interesting. All right, so I press the button. The light doesn't come on. But this light comes on. Hey, quick update. And of course, uh, I just have some wire in the wrong place. I had uh, I had the button wire going into 13 instead of 12. And so now when I press the button, the light turns on and it turns off. So got it working. The code is correct. And just make sure you get it wired up right. See ya.